Hi, we're here today at Skyway Tool Center with Tool Center owner Doug Gillis and Vern Janes, who's the former owner of Paradise Drive Line, which burned down in the campfire last year. And Vern is going to explain to us about the differential pinion shaft lock nut bolt extractor kit and how that works on a car. So for, take it away, Vern. Okay. <clears throat> Once in a while on GM differentials and some Fords and a few Jeeps, the pin that holds the spider gears, uh, which is held in by a lock bolt, uh, uh, breaks. The actual <clears throat> lock bolt is the part that breaks and it is impossible to get out without a special tool. <clears throat> The only other alternative is to use a cutting torch and cut the pin out, which is a yeah. very big fire hazard, <clears throat> and it's very time consuming, it's very messy. This tool sneaks in there and does it in a very short period of time. <clears throat> it only requires installing the guide into the hole where the bolt used to go, the broken bolt, <clears throat> and then inserting the drill and drilling <clears throat> until the drill meet some resistance, <clears throat> about an inch or so in, <clears throat> and then <clears throat> lightly tapping an easy out into the hole, and then turning it, and gently withdraw the broken pin. Then it comes apart, <clears throat> and get a new pin, and away you go. So what was it that you were showing us over here on this diagram? <clears throat> where, where the pin usually breaks is right after, at the, where the threads meet the pin, that's the weak spot. So you, normally when you break it, it'll break and leave no thread. So you'll, you'll, you'll extract the broken th the threads, that's all you're gonna pull out. What you have left inside that you cannot reach is the broken part of the pin that's holding, holding these uh, gears in place. Uh, the broken part will go all the way through that, uh, the large pin and it rests up against the housing. So what you need to do, like Vern was explaining, you reach in, you put, the, 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 the bolt in as a guide, it has a hole in the center for your drill bit, the 12 inch cobalt drill bit. And you'll drill into that broken pin. If you can get in an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, whatever you can get in. Then you, like Vern was saying, you put the extractor in, lightly tap it to set it. And then as you turn it, it'll pull out that broken pin. And I think that's, you can do this in minutes compared to hours of trying to, 10 minutes maximum. Yeah. And yeah. It, it works every day. And what vehicles now, do you say? <clears throat> Almost all GMs, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> a lot of the Fords and some of the Jeeps. Okay. Are and the also, current GMs yes. are still uh, using this? Yes, they are. Okay. And, and some of the Chrysler products. Okay. <clears throat> okay. okay. Is that a common problem for, I mean, it seems it, to me like it is. It seems, you see it quite often. That, bro that pin will snap, yep. mm -hmm. and you really don't realize it until you pull out the broken part, and then you've got two pieces, huh? Right. <clears throat> you go to take out the bolt, to disassemble it, to overhaul it, or whatever, and you'll come out with this broken part, yeah. and then you're stuck. Yeah, then you, you can't yeah. go any further until you <clears throat> use the tool okay. to get the broken part. Because the large, the large pin won't come out because it's still held in That's place. That's right, yeah. yeah. And you can't shear it off. There's just no way to deal with it. Except, and what, why why do you need a 12 inch bolt? I mean, a, a drill for, bit. Because for clearance, you have to be back away from the center housing uh -huh. to get a, a drill to power it. Okay, gotcha. If, gotcha. The, if the drill was a little miniature thing, well, you could theoretically do it. Yeah. No such drill exists. So, yeah. So. so to get uh, a powerful enough drill to actually do the job, you have to be away from the housing to okay. get in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I always wondered why uh, the the longer the longer bit. Yeah, there's no way to do it without a, at least a drill that long. Okay. And now do you, I mean, uh, with the kit, we include both the square and the round extractor. Do you have a preference for, your, what do you like to use? Either one will work. Okay. Yeah, so. it takes, <clears throat> the extractor takes a little set in the, in the drilled hole. Right. And then as you turn it, it continues to tighten itself up. Okay. And then you just gradually turn it and pull on it a little in and, and out. Pull that out, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I've never seen one that is so stuck in there that you can't get it. It won't pull out. I have not encountered that. Okay. You can also grab the extractor with a pair of pliers and coax it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And generally, once you get that hole drilled in there, the job's done. Yeah. 
and it goes really fast. Okay, well. Without this, you just have no way of centering that. Yeah, without that guide, you're gonna get into trouble. You're gonna get into threads, or you're gonna ro roll off the head of that broken Be pin. Because the, the pin very often breaks at an angle. Right. So you're trying to start a drill on an angled surface. Yeah, yeah. And first thing it does is it goes off center. Yeah. Whereas this allows you to just just kind of bounce a little bit, get the hole started, and then you put a little more pressure and, and ease then, that drill yeah. in, and then you'll be right on center. Mm -hmm. It works amazingly well. Very interesting. Very interesting. I, I really never know how exactly how that worked. Uh, I, I know it's kind of a specialized thing. It's for, but when you need it, you need it. That's what you do. Well, the thing is, if if you're in the business of working on differentials, and you encounter one, you're stuck, and you have to order the tool and wait a couple of days, maybe. Yeah. It's if worth that, having one or two of these in your toolbox, and you use it once or twice a year. Yeah. And, Get some work done. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah, that'd be save you a lot of time, a lot of time. It's like, it's like having a toolbox without a pair of pliers. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those necessary things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your knowledge on this, Vern. We really appreciate it. And uh, this is Skyway Tool Center, located at two four nine nine Bruce Road in Chico, California, at the corner of Skyway and Bruce five three zero eight nine one one four nine five.